How you guys doing again? This is your boy Stan Banks from T-Shirt Style. So today I'm going to bring you a short, quick video, I hope, uh, if everything goes well, about removing tags. Um, what I like to do is, you know, I make this, I just got an order for this custom jacket. Alright, you guys have seen me do these over and over again. Um, Alright, sleeve, back print, uh, two color left chest. All right, now I'm going to do is take this tag out. All right, this is another jacket I got from uh, Rainbow for 15, I think it was $15, and I sold it from 75 So what I'm going to do is just hold it by the tag. You can use this, a razor, a Zacto knife, uh, scissors, all right? The bigger the blade is, different. the bigger the item is or the blade is, the more uh, delicate you have to be because it's a lot easier to rip. These are the best. I actually, this is my only my second time using this. Got it from one of my friends who sold. So I got this now. And he said it only costs like a dollar. You just want to hold it by the tag. And after you pick, uh, pick one little thread up, you know, you just want to pull before you pick the next one up. All right, you pull. Some of them will come out. All right, now when you get to the corners, it gets a little harder because it, it's like, it's not literally knotted, but oh, in the corners, they go, they do a little more. And then you can just pull these threads that are uh, left over from you tearing them and just pull them out. All right, boom, flip the first one, pull it a little bit, find the next one. And you always want to pull up towards the tag. So once you insert it, pull towards the tag. And that way, the tag will not, I'm sorry, you won't be cutting the jacket. So now you see these little threads that are left over from me, from me doing that. I just peel these out. Okay. Now we got a little tagless jacket. All right, so now I'm going to bring you guys over here. Let's see. Usually I would cut, but I ain't got time for that today. Um, and I had a tag. All right, now I got my tag here, size large. I usually have the website, but sometimes it gets too small for the website to actually uh, cut. So I just put it on here. Sometimes I can use the hat press over there, put the tag in. I'll just put it over top of the thing here. All right, because it's not really that important. Actually, I don't want to use this one. So I always cut two, two tags. I always cut one on the uh, on each color just in case. I, just, I forgot this has an edge, so I'm gonna use the tan tag that I had. Same thing, but this one, the website came out clear, so I'll actually get that in there. All right, and then you just wanna find the lines and put it directly between where you pulled the last tag out of it at. All right, so I'm just gonna go here. Then that, that tag was there, which looks center. All right, cover it up. All right, just press it normal. Like, I don't really care how this really sets, as long as it's there. You know, when they get it, they know it's a large, whatever the case is, if you're sending it. Just a little something extra. You cut these out of vinyl. Like, I'm gonna order some transfers for my brand first, some uh, plastic art transfers, some t-shirts, but if I'm doing one-offs or something like that, you can go ahead and get the seal. Oh, that's what I normally do. So you can get these things called pillows. So this one didn't get any pressure because it is. So what I did was I just folded the shirt and it'll fit right exactly underneath of where the tag is. All right, put it directly underneath of there. And that'll raise it up so that it can get some pressure. And I knew that, but I didn't, I don't even know why I didn't pay attention to that detail this time. That's why I made that. All right, so now it should apply some pressure because of the, the way that the, the shoulders are on the jacket and different things like that. It wasn't able to apply the pressure that was needed to, to get the, the press going. All right, so that's one of the things that you, when you got a lot of ripples, just little things like that. I made this one as well for um, if I need more space. Yep, see that? So the first time it didn't peel. All right, the second time it peeled. All right, so we got a custom tag. All right, we got a back, we got a left chest, and we got a right sleeve. All right, guys, it's been Stan Banks. A little quick tip on removing the tag and also replacing it with your own vinyl tag. All right, don't forget, you can buy the pillows or you can make your own pillow out of this, the size you need it. All right, guys, get your side hustle on. Happy printing.